going on upstate speed test welcome to the world famous atlantic city boardwalk we're at iowa avenue in front of the tropicana resort and casino tropicana huge huge massive casino it's over 2,000 rooms as a cop patrols the beach with with his lights on and he's got a really really cool led bar bar along the bottom of the police cruiser Every time I'm filming, I can never get my tongue out of a knot. <laughs> this is the bungalow beach bar down there. And if you look further down the boardwalk, you've got Ocean Resort sticking up above all the others. Bally's, Caesars, Hard Rock, Resorts. And you can't see it, but out in the marina, you got Borgata, Golden Nugget, and Harrah's. This is the Ritz-Carlton, which was featured on the series board, uh, Boardwalk Empire on HBO. And uh, yeah, we're gonna run some speed tests here. Uh, we'll start out with AT&T just to get them out of the way because they're super, super boring. At least here in South Jersey. Like they have good overall coverage, but their speeds are not that impressive. And the coverage map for AT&T will show all of Absegan Island, Absegan Island, which is the, uh, the barrier island that Atlantic City sits on. Their coverage map will have 5G C-band, or 5G plus as AT&T calls it, across the entire island, which just isn't the case. It's very rare to connect to it, and it's very spotty. So there's 144 on the down, 59.6 on the up. The ping times are really good. And uh, just overall, it's it's extremely usable, and there's there's really nothing to complain about. Although on the beach earlier, the I had to airplane mode the phone twice to get it to connect to anything, and I don't know if that was just a result of it being a, a you know a beat a season where there's a lot more people here, or the pixel was glitching out, or what. But overall, AT and T just you know not super duper impressive overall, but usable. You know, there's again, uh, I think we kind of take for granted on these tests that. Uh, you know, just because the speeds aren't gigabit or better, that it's somehow crappy, and it, that's just not the case. Very usable service overall, and very good inside of the casinos. I always had a connection, unlike T-Mobile, but we'll get to that in a minute. So on the coverage map test, we're getting 108 down, and for some reason a goofy, pin, a goofy upload, but whatever. So uh, let's thank our friends over at circledin.com and then uh, we'll come back and test the two carriers that really dominate here, T-Mobile and Verizon Wireless next. Today's video is brought to you by circledin.com. Circled In is a website that'll let you split the cost of a wireless family plan to help you save money on your wireless bill. Circledin.com's beautifully designed website has no credit checks, can help you save up to $480 a year, and there's no contract, so you can switch providers anytime you want or anytime it works for you. If we click the All Circles button, CircledIn.com's easy-to-use website allows you to search for a plan you want, filter by carrier, and filter by price from low to high. As you can see here, we have some examples up on the screen, like Verizon's Unlimited Plus plan for $45 a month, a savings that the website says is about 36%, and uh, Verizon Unlimited Welcome, which the website says is a savings of 71% at $20 a month. Once you find the circle you want, you can click Join Circle, and the website will give you an easy to understand breakdown of the costs and savings and benefits that come along with that plan. So check them out today at circledin.com. Circled In will help you save a ton of money on your wireless bill, and they also have great support for your plan as well. All right, welcome back. We're recording on the Google Pixel 9 XL and uh, speed testing Verizon to start on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Verizon has all of their equipment on the roof of the Tropicana, right where those digital signs are. And there is millimeter wave tucked in up there, but I found this particular site to be somewhat finicky to connect to on Verizon. And overall here in South Jersey and in Atlantic City, Verizon seems to have better in-building coverage than some of the other providers. 
uh, AT&T being, uh, I would, you know what? I take that back. I would say AT&T and Verizon are neck and neck in terms of in-building coverage. Uh, Verizon has higher overall peak speeds here in South Jersey. However, T-Mobile has more consistent speeds, especially on mid-band. Uh, and Verizon, you'll find pockets of millimeter wave all over the place. Really, it's impressive how much they have. But unlike T-Mobile, when you fall off their millimeter wave and fall back to mid-band, their mid-band speeds leave a little bit to be desired. Whereas T-Mobile seems to have much more consistent mid-band speeds on N41. And that, that's a scenario that really kind of plays out just about everywhere. But what, uh, what drags T-Mobile down for me here is I've been inside several buildings now where Verizon will have full coverage and no issues connecting, and T-Mobile just disappears. So for me, in reality, if I'm looking for speed and, and mid-band consistency, I'm picking T-Mobile. But the minute I go inside of a building, especially not near Windows, uh, I switch back to Verizon because the, the in-building coverage you get on Verizon uh, just blows away T-Mobile. And it's, it's the same, if not better, than AT&T in most cases. So overall, T-Mobile wins on consistency in terms of speed, but loses an in-building coverage. Like, there's many places inside of the Tropicana where T-Mobile is just non-existent from what I've seen so far. Uh, I have been in every single casino here in South Jersey, but I haven't been down here that recently. So I, I can't tell you if they've improved anywhere else. But as far as the Tropicana is concerned, Verizon was, was the winner for in-building coverage. Now up in my room, T-Mobile has a cell site sector that I posted in a, a YouTube post pointed right at my window, which was a godsend because all of these videos I'm recording have been uploading fast and consistently fast. So that's a plus. Really, uh, you know, in reality, I don't think you could go wrong with any of the three major carriers down here, except for Boost. Boost seems to be pretty terrible, but that's that's a given. Uh, let me switch over to T-Mobile uh, next, and we'll give them a go. We've got T-Mobile fired up and ready to go. So again, uh, just to, to recap on what I said in the last test, T-Mobile is the mid-band consistency king here in South Jersey with uh, very, very consistent N41 coverage and a very dense network too. Like maybe not so on the, like right here on the boardwalk, but back inside of town, like in town, T-Mobile has an extremely dense network. I think I counted like three to five macros just in a two or three block radius of the Tropicana, which is just crazy impressive. But I guess you need that when you don't have nearly, well, I shouldn't say nearly, you don't have any millimeter wave coverage, whereas Verizon has millimeter wave all along the boardwalk and in town. So Verizon has a lot of high band. They all, you know, they also have a lot of mid band, but it's just not as consistent as T-Mobile. When you fall off of, uh, when you fall off of the high band, the millimeter wave, and go back to mid-band, you're kind of left desiring a little bit more out of Verizon's connection. And I'm sure it'll get better. I'm getting bit by something. I'm sure it'll get better as time goes on. And T-Mobile, uh, uncharacteristically, a little slow in this spot. I'm not sure exactly where T-Mobile's equipment is in this exact spot, but... Uh, you know, again, these speeds fall in the you-can't-complain-about-it category, especially the upload's really good. So there you go. There's Team Mobile, and let's do the uh, coverage map test real quick. Go into Washington, D.C., just to, just to kind of see what we get. And it's doing pretty good. It's competitive with Okla. 48 millisecond ping. And let's see if the upload's better this time. Yep, it is. The last test I ran on coverage map, as you saw, the upload was, uh, oh, that was AT&T. The upload was not consistent on coverage map. So there you go. There's T-Mobile. And you know what? I don't want to. I want to be done with this particular video, but uh, we'll run Boost Mobile just for fun. Got Boost Mobile fired up and ready to go. Pulled up the uh, uh, field test mode just to prove what we got here. N71, 10 megahertz, Boost standalone. Let me get out of that real quick. 
And uh, as I'm doing that, let me just zoom in here. I don't know, yeah, you can't really make it out too good, but right there on the building, you can see some of Verizon's equipment just chilling there. And uh, yeah, so we'll do a couple boost tests just for kicks. Let me restart the speed test app. Here we go. So Boost Mobile, 10 megahertz, standalone. Probably the smallest amount of bandwidth any provider has online in South Jersey. I mean, it definitely has to be. So we got a 609 loaded ping, unloaded ping. I don't know what that's all about. Like I said, we confirmed that this is Boost standalone. Maybe it's just a glitch. We'll try we'll try running it again just to make sure. Those loaded ping times are horrendous, but you got plenty of bandwidth, 103 on the down. The upload's pretty crappy though. And the jitter at 119, yikes. Tell you what, when this finishes, yeah, let's restart the speed test app again. We'll go back here. We'll choose the school district of Philadelphia. We'll do a dis so we'll do a different server. By the way, let me know in the comments how the video quality is. This is the pixel shooting in night sight mode, which I don't really understand what exactly that's going to do for the video other than artificially try to boost the, the quality after the fact. Wow, even worse this time. But hey, we're getting 100 down at least. And again, no idea where Boost is coming from. I, I haven't seen any of their equipment along the boardwalk yet. At least none that I know that I noticed. I mean, maybe I'm just being a little, uh, maybe I'm just being a little, uh, not paying enough attention. 106 down and three point, well, almost four on the up. Cool. Let's do the coverage map test. We did it for the other ones. So for consistency's sake, we'll do it there too. Just give it a restart real quick, which I finished. It's going on midnight. I really need to get to bed. So this is going to be the end of the test. I got a four hour drive back to upstate New York tomorrow. All right. Well, the coverage map test is showing a 48 millisecond unloaded ping. And now we're getting close to 200 on the down. So maybe I will go back and uh, check the field test mode and see if it switched to something different. And the upload's uh, a little bit better now, too. Not bad. Sorry, I'm trying to balance both phones here. Uh, let's take a look. No, we're still showing N71 10 megahertz. So that's, uh, that's, yeah, weird. All right. I'll start the coverage map test again. I'm doing this off camera so you guys don't see the phone number, but I guess in reality, I don't really care about the boost phone number. If you saw it, you can... If you saw it, you can spam me all you want. I'm going to try one more different server here. We have a great signal from Boost, so there's got to be some some of their equipment chilling here somewhere. Weird. The Boost, or the Okla coverage map app is giving the same terrible results. I'm not even going to finish that because it's probably going to be about the same. Anyway, uh, yeah, thanks for joining us here in Atlantic City, New Jersey, America's favorite playground. Or in the later years of their slogan, always turned on. Which, if you were here in 2014, the uh, the slogan should have been always turned off because a lot of casinos closed, like the Atlantic City uh, Atlantic Club, but it used to be the Atlantic City Hilton. That building right there has been sitting empty forever, although I see a couple lights on. Maybe some, uh, maybe they got some squatters. I don't know. Give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe down below, and hey, we'll see you next time.